Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is from the North American Team Battles played on November 16th, which was yesterday as the point of commentating this. Upper left-hand corner, we have none other than Machine as the orange Zerg. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Artosis starting as the brown Terran, although he's got kind of an orangish hue as though the sun is setting on the command center, which maybe bodes poorly. I don't know. Artosis has particularly strong versus Zerg. Something about North American Terran and being very strong against Zerg. Maybe it's because there's a plethora of very good North American Zerg. Anyway, this is on Vermeer. I don't feel the need to actually show you guys the match. Machine with... I will unabashedly say that whenever Machine's in a match, he's the guy I'm rooting for because he's one of the nicest guys in the scene. He's an incredible guy at large. This season's Hasu League champion, where if you watch the Hasu League series... Or sorry, previous season's Hustle League champion. Brain fart there. Overlord making its way upper right. Machine, I believe, is still playing the standard two hatch style, where he's going to go the two hatch and try to grab an initial mace, most likely on the low ground. Machine is one of those guys where he digs into his style and perfects it. And plays from there. Artosis... In these situations, it's different. Artosis, when he's playing a heads-up match like this, is much different than Artosis on ladder. And I would not be shocked to see... So usually Artosis is just going to go straight up to Barracks Academy uh, to start. But when he knows who he's playing against in these sort of one-off game situations, much like a tournament situation, more often than not, he will mix it up and curate his play to his opponent. 12 hatch reap 4 machine in the upper left. Between the two, I'm not sure what shape machine's in. I will say if machine's in fantastic shape, he can pick the game off Artosis, but I think overall I am going to favor Artosis. Mostly because I still feel like his versus Zerg is his marquee matchup. Checking bottom right before continuing along the way, he is going to probably met that he's getting last scout. Initial Marines being produced, the drone finding that base and drifting back out. Overlord's going to drift that direction. Second, upon seeing that drone, though, it looks like an additional SCV is going to make its way to top left, really wanting to get an eye on what machine is up to early. Spawning pool up. We have an extractor that is now being saturated a little bit later than typical. It's still set up for what looks like potentially two hatch play. I'm wondering if machine has adjusted to the three hatch style Artosis. Upon seeing the 12 hatch in the later spawning pool and getting eyes on the Zerglings, going to go ahead and grab that command center. And actually with the... Well, we'll see how it plays out. Four Zerglings being produced. I wonder if Machine has moved over to, to the 2.5 hatch. It's not something that wasn't around in the past. It's just it, I like the... Uh, I don't know. It feels like it's got new life. Zerglings making the way out. Artosis needs to preserve that initial SCV. Again, to keep eyes, Zerglings are making their way out towards that natural expansion. Supply Depot being placed, but no bunker. And actually, a six Zerglings making their way across. Six Zerglings versus four Marines on the low ground, especially with decent angle, can be some trouble. I don't know that... Machine's usually not the style of player to shoot that gap, though. More potentially just going for... Uh, well, let's see. So diving forward. Now, yeah, engaging. However, nice blockade of that SCV on the rear to cause those Zerglings to scatter, so that ended up being a much better engage than it would have been otherwise. Hero linebacker SCV right there. So Zerglings have been expended. Natural expansion now built. Spire on the way for Machine. And actually losing a lot of those Zerglings early really hurt, and Artos is going to have perfect timing now on that Spire. Artosis though, has not yet dropped... A, at least I have not seen a second barracks. He's going one racks academy engineering bay behind this. So it looks like he might do the rapid transition to the five racks plus one potentially. Additional, uh, initial zerglings trying to take care of that SCV. So that's been wiped out. Spire about halfway finished. That drone migrating to the upper right. Let's see if he grabs the natural expansion. I assume he's going to go up on the high ground. <clears throat> Second gas being grabbed. I wouldn't be shocked to see Machine go a little bit. Maybe he'll, he'll even... I don't know. Let's see if we see, we see a Crazy Zerg style of, of play out of Machine as well. 
I have a feeling, though, knowing Machine, he's just, yeah, just going to do the standard in-base three hatch to Hydralisk. Lurker play from there. Three barracks being placed. Plus one weapons is being researched. Compsat station up. Stim just about to finish. So it looks like Artosis is going to just stick to initial three barracks. Play a little bit more economical. <clears throat> and as I say that, dropping the fourth barracks. Missile turrets on the way. Mutalisks being produced, so those turrets should be in plenty of time to go ahead and cover that natural expansion as well. Compsat being dropped by Artosis. He does get the scan of the finished Spire and probably sees those Mutalisks taking flight as well. Decent timing there by Machine overall, especially considering the Zergling that he had to produce a couple extra Zerglings off what he lost early. So Mutalisks making the way across. This turret could be exposed. Because Marine's currently holding on the low ground, so holding that one racks for quite a bit of time. Artosa is going to have to cover a bit of ground. Machine not going for it. The Marine stinning out to assault Machine's Mutalisk. And actually able to whittle one down quite a bit. So, risky play because he needs to preserve that energy to start. Oh, Medic almost, get picks off, almost gets picked off on that corner. Yeah, he doesn't want to overstim here. Ended up running out of energy right at the beginning. Machine has incredible Mutalisk Micro, typically. Doing a good job of picking off reinforcements in between the natural and the main. Upper right-hand base is online for him. No SCV swatted yet, but has gotten a handful of SCV kills. And there's that Hydral Sten at the natural. There's a lot of Mutalisk already on the front, though. Marine's now marching out. Looks like that did cost another stim from Artosis. Try to keep a look eye on that medic energy. That medic energy is actually quite low. And I don't know that that's going to put him in a position to be any form of aggressive. I think Machine knows it at this stage. So the Marines need to hold on until plus one weapons come on, comes online, which will be in a couple seconds here. It'll make them a little bit more viable. I will say, if I was going to say there's a weakness in Artosis's play, it's this. It's the propensity to overstim a little bit before he has that plus one weapons. <clears throat> Oof. Machine not showing his usual... Savage Mutalist Micro here. I mean absolutely brutal when it's on point. And as I say that, look at that range where he was able to pick that Marine off. But taking a, a bit of damage here and there, trying to split... Ooh, loses one Mutalist, but is able to split off another. More grouping up. Is he going for plus one? No, he's going for plus one Carapace. So wants to hold on to these Mutalisks a little bit longer. Hydralsten is here. Lurker Tech just being researched. Artosis making his way up, being engaged on that high ground plateau. He's going to lose a medic on the way. Drawing back from the low ground. Still pressing up. So the third gas is up in that upper right hand corner. There's still no sunk. Oh, sorry, there's a sunken on the front. We have Hydralisks here, but Lurker Tech is a ways from finishing. However, I don't think Artosis. Again, because of a lot of the stim, yeah, these medics are out of energy. I don't think he's in a position to go ahead and press that natural expansion. So he may draw back. Especially as the mutilist count is up to nine. Two reinforcing medics grouping up. This overlord going to get caught. That will put machine into the red. But a cr second creep colony being dropped. Lurker tech just now finishing. I think machine has bought himself enough time. And this is where, yeah, I think Artosis with the uh, stim discipline might have cost himself a potential... Wow, Queen's Nest actually dropping on the front to provide a little bit of padding there. Another ring being pushed off, and Artosis going for it, wiping out the Queen's Nest just as it finishes and able to get a sunken colony, so gonna just go for it. But again, yeah, I don't think he has enough medic energy to make this work. And losing that entirety of that attack force, all of the Mutalisks remain in the air. Did get the Queen's Nest, but I don't know that that was worth it. Another Medic Marine Army starting to march out. That third gas is up and running. Queen's Nest now being built in the interior. Plus one Carapace is there, which means those Mutalisks are going to be all the more threatening. Double Starport underneath. Fifth Barracks being built. And now Lurker is actually playing a forward position from Machine. Machine going to hold position right behind the Temple Lines. Maybe try to bait some attacks out. So laying some traps while he goes ahead... 
and makes his way towards Defiler Tech. Dropping an Evolution Chamber behind this. There's the Queen's Nest. The upgrade to Hive. Mutalisk diving in and getting a little bit too aggressive there. Maybe trying to sacrifice some Mutalisks to bait Artosis out, but I don't think Artosis... I would be shocked if Artosis falls for this, honestly. Because he, he still has to play in a defensive position after losing that previous round of Medic Marines. So two Lurkers on that edge. Oh, I... Oh! Okay, not quite. Machine doesn't pull... The, trying to bait them back. Doesn't pull the trigger right there. Science Vessel is out. The Lurkers are... Now that the Science Vessel there is going to go ahead and retreat. Find a new position. Hive is still about halfway from finishing. But again, because of the early troop expansion, I don't know that Artosis can really pressure top right or Machine's natural expansion. And he's having trouble with these Mutalists still, waiting on energy. Machine doing a good job of drawing out those Mutalists at nearly the last second. Six barracks up in, li up in line. And actually, I take it back. Uh, irradiate delayed on research. Firebat joining the fray. So Artosis at this stage deciding he wants to go ahead and try to bust the natural expansion. A lot of lurkers here. And actually with the delay to radiate and four science vessels out in the air, might be able to chew through this pretty rapidly. The defiler mount, a third finish. So it's going to be a race between the defiler mount plus one carapace being researched and potentially irradiates being there. Lurkers being sure to stack to make it a little bit well, sneakier and harder to engage. And is there going to be an additional Sunken Colony on the front? Another Compsat being dropped. Overlord sneaking forward. Double Defense Matrix. Drones trying to blockade the way the Mutalists are going to go ahead and draw up. The Firebats are gone. And the Medic Marines just melting behind this. Now the Irradiate's being dropped. And I think that was more of a Desperation follow-up attack from Artosis more than anything. Science Vessels being picked at on retreat, and now Machine in firm control of this match. We do have a single Marine to the top right to deny that natural expansion. But Machine, even on supply, has added a macro hatch in his main. Defiler Mound is researching consume already. The Science Vessel count is at three, but Irradiate's been expended. There was a pretty sweet split from Machine. And I think Artosis is just gonna wind up and try again. A second Sunk Colony being dropped. A lot of Lurkers did get wiped out, so it is possible if he can just catch Machine on the back foot before he's able to burrow those additional Lurkers, he might be able to, with another Defense Matrix, make it happen. Third Sunken Colony being dropped, and Radiate, another great split from Machine, able to get that Mutalist out there, gonna drop some additional attack. And upon seeing this, Artosis is just gonna back out. Is he going to make his way and try to, looks, maybe, make an attack top right? Building his third command center. Seven barracks behind this. Machine has a huge amount of resources. A bunch of Lurker Ling coming from the upper right. Plus one Carapace is there for the Ling, so they are going to be a little bit more survivable against the plus two, plus one armor upgrade, but they start, still are at an upgrade disadvantage, and there are Fire Bats on the ground. But Defilers now have Consume. Natural Expansion being grabbed. And I don't think Artosis just has enough punch to slow Machine down. Machine ahead in the overall worker count. Might lose some Lurkers here, top left. Artosis needs to preserve those Science Vessels. Keep in mind, you had a Shield Battery drop, which meant fewer Radiates before. I like this positioning here for Artosis, just in case there was a counterattack underneath. But right now, Machine just going to take a brief respite. And I thought he was going to start stepping on the gas and producing troops. Instead, he's going to go ahead and grab, feeling comfortable enough in his map control situation with the Filers and Artosis' equivalent troop count. He's going to go ahead and grab a fifth base. This feels exposed and potentially greedy, though. And might be a turnaround situation. Command Center is up for Artosis. Yeah, get spotted. That should force a cancellation. 
Let's see if it gets canceled in time. Does get, well, no, wasn't canceled in time. Dropship's now moving up for Artosis. Just as an Ultralisk is taking the field, but there's not a lot of troops here to stop all this. And this is a lot of juicy tech. So Mutalisk's going to regather, but that is too many Medic Marines. The Evolution Chamber gonna go down. That's gonna cost some time on the, on the Claws upgrade. Defiler finally grouping up. And Machine dropping the ball a little bit here, finally. Zerglings grouping up with the Ultralisks and the Defiler to push back the rest of that. Artosis dropping some Irradiates as well on the front, going to clear up the Lurkers there. Spore Colony to provide some additional fence against the Science Vessels. However, I don't think a Plague has been dropped as of yet, and I'm not even sure that it's been researched to really make that sail. Artosis now repositioning top right. So not dropping out of this match yet. Wants to drop a bunch of Irradiates here, catches the Defiler. And Machine getting caught off guard is not, is actually eating some uh, spread damage, dropping a Dark Swarm last second, and then a huge troop grouping all of a sudden, moving out for Artosis. Starting to push out towards that natural expansion. Once again, Machine gonna try to grab that fifth base, but again, it feels a little bit premature. He does have the Ultralisks out here, but he doesn't have that uh, Ultralisk speed as of yet. Ultra's diving out into the front regardless. They got obliterated very rapidly, plus three weapons should be out here in not too long from now. Now there's that plague dropped, which the science vessels have to be a little bit careful engaging that natural expansion. Yeah, plus three weapons just about to finish. Wanted to confirm that. Ultra's continue to push out. So a bit of breathing room for Ar Artosis here. He can take this fifth base out at leisure. Probably grab a fourth himself if he wants. Machine starting to chase down this army, dropping a huge plague with cover. Regathering to top right. Still a good science vessel count out. More radiates being dropped, but now these Zerglings, because of that earlier plague, very, very efficient at wiping out Medic Marines. You can see how many of them are, have been assailed and every science field seems like it's been plagued. So a single Mutalisk, which I think there's still Mutalisks out in the air from earlier. They just walk up, get a bit of splash. That is going to completely decimate Artosis' science vessel count. The question is, is can the Mutalisks get over there? Hydralisks have also joined the fray. Some Scourger nearby, just in case there's an additional drop. Yeah, there's the Mutalisks starting to move up on the hunt. And unfortunately, this is sometimes what Artosis will do is, is he'll leave those science vessels stranded away from the Medic Marine grouping. And oh, it's gonna be close. Mutal's pushing up. Two Science Vessels down, three, four, and five. And that is it. <laughs> and the response, as one would expect from the depths of the salt mine, Artos is trying to grab that six o'clock base. But Ultralisks, Hydralisks, Defilers, and Zerglings close nearby. And chewing through that attack grouping, this reinforcement group might need to reposition as Machine is getting dangerously close to that natural expansion. Looks like Artosis has been able to wind that attack force all the way around a single science vessel there. But wow, that's a lot of Ultralisks. Five Ultralisks to go ahead and engage this attack force. It does have level three weapons, level two armor now, but plus four Carapace is there for the Ultralisks now making them incredibly beefy. Some Scourge wandering up, trying to hunt for that science vessel. You can see that Machine's not even bothering to micro this attack force. Instead, was just kind of moving troops all over the place. Now going for a counterattack of Zerglings to stream them across the map. Still not very defensible on that fifth, so might end up losing it again, but Artosa scanning the front. No Lurkers are here, though. I don't see any uh, Ultralisks either, so might be able to take out the front. So Machine dropping the ball all of a sudden and his natural expansion is breached he has some zerglings scrambling in between looks like he is going to be able to be able to run those towards artosis's third might be able to disrupt the six o'clock location as well but it's going to be at the price of his natural expansion potentially his main and that fifth base so machine being uncharacteristically sloppy here and artosis able to get a massive counterattack. And Machine gonna GG with that. What a turn of events. 
Great play from Artosis. And with a one fell swoop, able to turn the game completely around. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Thank you for listening.